I was just thinking. I mean, beyond the matchup, like, uh is really, like, a really solid player. And it feels like he always had, he's like, he's always planning two, three steps ahead. And mm -hmm. Dr. Mario is I, not a character that's known for having a great deal of options. Mm -hmm. So the fact that, like, you know, if he just sets it up properly, it feels like that uh might just be able to run train on uh Whoa! On hey, moving on. Ooh. I'm trying to use those pills because that might be able to work in an interesting way around the uh, around those blocks because they do bounce on surfaces and those blocks are effectively just more ground. I think that could possibly help with this matchup. Yeah, but it's a sort of thing where already he can't be too comfortable doing it because uh, that with the burst option of that cart, if he's, you know, just throwing pills at mid stage, he can get zoomed on. Mm hmm. And oh, wow, that was such a great wait. And uh, I, I like the idea behind that because so I do think that probably Dr. Mario Tornado is gonna be a pretty effective way to edge guarding uh, the upbeat from um, from uh, if he's forced to recover low or directly to the ledge, just having a long lasting powerful hitbox like that, Dr. Tornado. Could be mm -hmm. huge. Uh, speaking of a powerful Ooh. move, just, yep, there it is. Just ripping it out on mid stage, and that's actually gonna wow. get the stop. Yeah, and Karana's now, like, didn't take very much damage despite losing that stock quite a while ago. So, showing that even when behind, they're able to play pretty comfortably, which I think is pretty important with such an exploitable character like Dr. Mario. Yeah. And I wanna say, there's like a tiny little thing that we've been seeing, which is that, so. Dr. Mario, his aerials, like, you know, when he's facing his opponent, forward air is a very slow aerial, and one of the main ways it feels like that uh, Karan has been dealing with the neutral has been throwing out fast, quick aerials. Mm -hmm. But neutral air, as we discussed earlier for, for Dr. Mario, oh! Well then. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wow. finish that thought later, and I just wanna dwell on how perfect that forward smash was. Yeah. Wow. Karan just getting it that was art. in the exact spot. Um, anyway, point is that because Dr. Mario's neutral air is weaker at the initial... From, um, from, from Steve, uh, he's not getting that much off of it. Mm -hmm. Everybody cool. cut out for a moment. Yeah, I didn't hear anybody out. else either. Yeah, so. I didn't hear the music. Uh, but yeah, this is... Oh, how did... What? How did he survive that? Yeah. <gasps> Fun fact, Dr. Mario is the same weight as Mario. Doesn't seem like it there. It does not sure. seem like it there, no. All right, that one should do okay. it. And we now have one stock apiece, but the Nine fact three. that... He, that, uh, is that... Cut out again? Mm. Did I just get cut out again? Yeah. Okay. It's is that consistently happening for everybody here? Or is it just me? Yeah, no, that's I, happening I, for I me heard as you well. disappear. Yeah, okay. the music is disappearing for me as well. So it's both ends. Um, if it happens, I'm just going oh, to talk in. Wait, so you're not hearing me either? No, I'm no, not hearing you the, either. Everything, everything. Goes, uh, uh, yes. All right, Discord. All right. I think it's all Discord. Right. I'm spooked. Okay. All right. Devin, Devin, do damage control. Anyway, getting back to this match, speaking of damage control, Uh has managed to control Whoa. the what? He he managed to take it back. Wow. That was very impressive. Because he was at above 100%. For a long, Karan. long time. Against yes. Dr. Mario, yeah. So, that's like... Call him Destiny's Child, because he was a survivor. <laughs> that that diamond armor was... Oh, the diamond uh, weapon, rather, was so, so key there. Yes. Just getting able to able to take a stock at like what was he? Like eighty? Uh yeah, that was like eighty. No yeah, that was like eighty. Like eighty or so before the hit. Yeah. That was it was very low for like killing at that percent 
is very, very low, like criminally. Let's see here. It was that into, oh. Oh, 72? Okay, 79 was where they died. Mm. All right, good music choice, and we're going back mm -hmm. to the same stage as before. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, if you're, I mean, very clearly, if you're Quran, a lot of that game was working out well for you. Mm -hmm. uh, in the end, kind of, yeah, you did end up getting juggled a bit, but part of that's FD's fault, and part of it is just that, you know, uh, made some really good plays. So yeah. I don't think the stage was the issue. I think you just need to clean up your play a little bit and don't die super early. That sort of thing. Yeah, and it was definitely winnable. Like, it, like, look, it's already a pretty good lead. All they need is one good conversion or just a forward smash, and that will bring it to a stock lead. Ooh. Wow. And... Trying to find that kill, but just not getting it. That's always unfortunate. If they can get a grab, which they just did. Back throw, barely not killing. Oof, that's got to hurt. Because that also means it's a bit staler now. So, ugh. Oof, but back air does take it. And 85, definitely a decent percent to have. Especially because Karan is not going to be dealing with Diamond quite yet. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, and yeah, that's going to kill. That is a very strong up smash that's also very long lasting. Mm. And oh, wow. This is such great patience from Karan. Like, waiting out those up tilts, normally the first few spooks the opponent. Alright, these two have been playing super patiently. Just this careful, calculated neutral. Absolutely. For most, get... Yeah. For the most Look. part, though, oh, Ooh. it seems like the hits that U uh is getting are just being taken a little bit further. That's 87% now on Karan. And he is kind of struggling to find a hit. Oh. Oh. That almost Ooh. got a good amount Man. there. It's just inconvenient little blocks that seem to be getting in the way of what Karan wants to do. And just like that, catching him dropping shield, it was an option that we hadn't really seen him going for, trying to exert pressure with that. Oh, mm, neat. Oh? Uh. Karan just needs to fish for something here, like maybe a back air or a back throw. Or that. Oh. Oh, that's so smart. He clanked with the pill, and that put him in, like, the clank animation, and oh. Karan was right there and able to actually punish it. That's so smart. That I, maybe good. that's what he's been going for with these pills more often, or it might have just been an opportunistic uh, sort of taking it. Hmm. I mean, either one shows a quality as a player of oh, either no, the he's ability to... Just... Look at that. Again, yes. he does it. And that could be game-changing here. This could make it so that in the final hour, Karan has the answer. But... Yeah, I think I think it just means that Karan has to be much more careful about just throwing out moves yes. uh, in neutral. Mm -hmm. But you never know if Oz is just going to change up those questions. Ugh. Ah, so he chose to commit on going hard on that shield. Gets punished for a little bit, but now... He Karan is still looking like he's in control. 112%. We already know that Dr. Mario has such devastating kill power. One up smash, one <sighs> forward air will do it. He actually lands that back air, and that's more than enough. And that was so important because now we are actually getting to that game three. And Karan was able to find that answer just early enough to the point where it wasn't too late. Like any later and finding that solution might have been a little bit too late for it to actually matter. Yeah, he went for the forward air, but he also specifically went for the auto cancel window, said he could catch the landing with that down tilt and mm -hmm. just raw back air, just really, really clean right there. Yeah. 
Do you think we're going to see FD for game three? I think we're going to see something like Town. Or Kalos. Town or Kalos, maybe. Yeah, I, I feel like this is the sort of match that they might play all five games on FD if it came down to it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, that being said, we did... It seemed like uh, a Karan was doing... Even game one, remember, he had a huge lead. So yeah. I think the stage is just benefiting him very well. It allows him to pill very freely. He doesn't have to worry about platforms because that it does feel like Dr. Mario pill is at a really awkward height for a lot of the platforms in the game. I feel mm -hmm. like he gets caught on them or the opponent can just jump over and use the platforms to get around them. So if you are, uh, maybe you're looking for a stage that does have at least some platforms that he can take advantage he can use to just like create alternate angles of attack mm -hmm. yeah Ready? i think they did switch stages there all right we're not we're seeing the same characters as we did before but we're going to be opening right now let's see what stage they're going to here it's going to be town and city like you predicted yep yes this is a very good stage for steve Gives a lot of good materials and it gives a lot of good room for Steve to work. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because Steve, um, because it, it's not like the Omega version. It's the right. actual just hazardous stage. So it does change the materials that he gets. Yes. Yeah, and that's... not only that, but depending on where you are on the stage, it will give a different material. So like, for example, on the wooden parts, you will get wood, but... On the metal parts, like right there at the edges, you have a higher chance of getting the iron, which is a very important material for Steve. It's sort of what most of their best moves play off of. Ooh. Oh, he has a diamond weapon already. We've seen already how early that sort of thing can kill. And... One interesting thing, though, about this does mean that... So even though you get a lot of good materials, you don't get much dirt. And dirt can be pretty important sometimes. Because you need that for some setups. Because it breaks just early enough. Oh. What? Uh, what? Uh, but, okay. What? Uh? <laughs> yeah, so it does less damage if you're on top of it. I mean, it's still... I, and then he cleans up the stock anyway? Okay, neat. Do you think that would have killed if it were on any stage other than town? Um, Dr. Mario's up smash is weird because it kills off the side, too. Hmm. Um, it, like, depends on where you DI it. Like, at that point, he could have DI'd off the... Died off the top or probably died off the side if he really desired that. Yeah. So, it's it's... Uh, it's hard to say. I'm not actually sure if um, Town and City made a difference there. I don't think so. But, you know, it is worth keeping in mind those bigger yeah. blast zones on this stage will be relevant, especially for Dr. Mario, who does have these really strong moves. And it's like if he hits the opponent and it doesn't kill, he has to find that strong move again, which... Mm -hmm. Oh, my. <gasps> look at this combo. 81%. <gasps> that, that clanked with... <sighs> That clanked with the anvil too. Any any earlier, and that would have killed. <gasps> this is big. <gasps> oh, he air dodges perfectly. That could have been massive. That might have killed outright. Mm -hmm. Um, but instead we now have a neck and neck game here. Charon mm -hmm. is maybe a little bit worse for where he's at a hundred percent and with a diamond weapon at a at us disposal. This is certainly very scary for him. That being said, oh. waits out the air dodge, and that back air is so strong. Aaron, sorry, Karan, once again, with a, a pretty sizable lead, and once again, it's gone. Yeah. It's back to even. This is it, their final socks. They've been going pretty neck and neck this entire set. Yeah, I. you know, it's funny, because normally when this Steve gets a lead, He's able to do things with it, but it feels like it doesn't matter who gets the first stock. 
they end up trading it almost immediately and stays even. Mm -hmm. Wait, what the? They they got the gold weapon instead of the diamond. Uh, could, I thought it automatically gives you the strongest one. Oh. That's unfortunate because you do want gold for your minecart to have more power behind it. That's interesting that they're placing the block right in front of the crafting table. Maybe it's so that there's no hurt box extent or hitbox extension. Oh, where is <gasps> it going? Oh no! I'll tell you where it was going. The left blast zone. Yeah. What was that up smash? Did he expect maybe him to get knocked up more by the up B? I think was that so. A input? Th or maybe he was predicting have, like, a, a jump. suction hitbox? It has, at the very start, a hitbox that can get that. Oh, he was just, I guess, right outside of the of the mm -hmm. hit that could actually suck him into it. And as mm -hmm. a result, that's going to be Karan taking game uh, game three. Now, we are, we're on top eight for this match, so this is yes. best three out of five. So, Uz not quite out of it just yet. But it feels like, for the most part, Karan has just been playing really effectively mm -hmm. I, I i like every game he's at least at one point had a sizable lead in game one yeah uh uh got the comeback but besides that i think these these big reads are what's what's really helping karan out mm -hmm. exactly and karan's able to play off of lead so well oh Oh, trying to pressure that shield with those down tilts saying, okay, if you let go, I will hit you for more, for more damage. And 64%. Mm -hmm. It's right there. I love the block pacement. It makes these pills so much less effective. It's like having to thread a needle, and it's honestly kind of not worth it if you're not. Oh, he has no jump. Oh he no! Is. No way he's coming back Ooh. from that. And uh, is online. Yeah, yeah, and that's something we hadn't really seen that much of, if not at all. This um, is like a full stock weed. Yeah, I mean, he's about to lap him in percent, and there it is. Ooh, Ooh. seventy-two percent, just like that, and a Ooh. totally full oh, no. inventory. Diamond weapons online now. He's in the wrong spot he's at death percent oh no and there's more diamond too so that means even once these diamonds break or if odd uh, dies they have another diamond ready oh but he, he is not dead yet he's still kicking at 94 percent on his third stock like, there's a yeah there's a full stock difference between these two we haven't really seen karan have to make a huge comeback yet and oh uh, if he wants oh, no. to win the set Outright, he's going to have to do a massive comeback. Back throw Oof. still not enough. He's struggling to find this first kill. Oh. Oh, ooh. This is so scary for Karan, because one bad move and they... <gasps> what? Oh no! <gasps> like a oh, just... ping pong ball, he lives and finally takes that stock. But who oh, have died? It was. It felt way overdue, and 61% onto Karan. He has so much work he needs to do. Oh no! Off stage, I. He has a jump, but at what oh, cost? Okay. Wow! I'm surprised that he lived that. Very good from Karan. You could just cancel the build to bait Karan into possibly going a little bit too far. But it looked like Karan was not really falling for it, so... Sort of gave up on trying to do that trick. Alright, just trying to mine materials right here. I mean, we have four minutes on the clock. We're probably not going to be seeing a timeout or anything like that. But still, 
the onus is absolutely on to Karan to actually approach. And... <laughs> 125%. I, I feel like we're just like sort of waiting here, seeing how how I is gonna choose to finish this game. <gasps> Karan is just threading the needle so yeah. well. Despite being down by so much, he is giving it his all. <gasps> Not letting it be phased. I mean, if he takes the stock right here, which he might very well. Oh. He mentions to take it. This is not something that he can't come back <gasps> from. He has All right, speed. 125%. This is bad. This is definitely bad if you're Karan. But no longer outside of the realm of possibility. There's definitely a timeline where you get one solid combo. And don't forget the brutal kill power that Dr. Mario has available to himself. And with all this rage, too. So that kill power is... That kill power is even stronger than normal. <gasps> oh, he avoided it. <gasps> oh, not safe on the hit. Just like gets punished for landing a back air. He's trying to look for oh. it. That back air will absolutely do it. Yeah, diamond pickaxe at 100. What was that? 130, 140. <laughs> that was <laughs> victory like, animations. Even though, oh, won that. The pace at the end was definitely in Karan's favor. I'm half inclined to agree, but I, it felt like, uh, his game plan was, I just need to hit you with the one move. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of playing that way. He was like, I'm just going to keep throwing things out. And yeah. if it, if in the end it worked, in the end he, like, he kind of had a play style that put him at higher risk. And sometimes that does work out really badly and you end up choking and throwing the lead. But if in the end you manage to finally get that one, you know, particular read that closed out the, the game for you, then you know what I mean? Like he was kind of playing on riskier. He was kind of, you know, just throwing out these stronger moves, uh, yeah. especially when he was on the second to last stock. And so mm -hmm. if, 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 if it didn't work out for him, you could say, oh, we got too hungry. But I think he was just hungry enough. Yeah. He, he had enough of an appetite. <laughs> He's a growing boy. One, go. <laughs> oh, and they're going back to town. What? Hmm. I, I am confused. As um, to going. It might. It might honestly just be that he's doesn't feel like the stage is going to make that much of a difference. That's fair. And he can do stuff with the platforms, as we just saw, getting a nice combo, getting some decent damage to start this game five. And this is a game five. These... <laughs> Whoever takes this stays on in winner's top eight. I believe actually mm -hmm. guaranteed winner's finals. So, yes. Yeah, there is a lot on the line between these two. And whoever wins this does go against... Um... We don't know yet. Oh, you're right, because it's the pl it's the winner of... Wait, Te... Oh, wow, we're going to be watching Tejuice eventually. I didn't even realize Tejuice and Sassy hadn't even played yet. They're Unless waiting. Unless that happened off stream, but I think at least the original plan is that we would be seeing that one. But anyway, mm. there's no point dwelling on the future here. Karan is in the here and now, managing to get that up smash. That's a huge lead for him. Let's see if he's actually able to get that much mileage off of it. For the most part... Even when Karan's gotten leads, they disappear relatively quickly. But Ooh. in this game five, when it really comes down to it, we'll see if he's able to actually gain some real advantage off of a lead. Ooh. I mean, 31% already. Pretty good. Just needs to get a little bit more. Hopefully, they don't get dug down a little too much. <gasps> Ooh. As that percent inc increases. Gets... Oh. That did not... Send him as far as I thought it would. It's because they're on wood weapons yeah. right now. It hasn't had much time to actually upgrade. And mm -hmm. as Steve, that's like sort of an... I feel like people don't talk about how losing the stock as Steve really hurts him even more because not only does he lose rage, he also loses the stronger weapons that he's built up. Oh! And man, that down tilt's still not enough, and the platforms are going to help him recover... Karan doing a good job. I mean, we were saying he hasn't really managed to do anything with the lead before, but I would definitely call this... This is 
well-earned extra credit, 70%. It Even is. if he goes down here, he has a lot of breathing room in terms of uh, the advantage of how he can play the match. Yeah, all he has to do here is write in his name at this point. That's how much extra credit he's got. Ugh. That looks like it hurts so much. All of Steve's moves, just the sound design. And the visual. Diamond the broke? Diamond broke? Oh, the axe broke because it's town and city, which is mostly wood. And the axe is used whenever it's a wood material. Because it's not just the materials you get that change depending on the stage. It's the tool you use to mine. So that up tilt is actually slightly worse on this stage. Ooh. And we were talking before about the huge advantage that Ron had managed to garner, but it, oh, right there, it almost completely vanishes. He's alive, but not by much. Both of these guys deep in the red, hundred and pretty much 120% on both of them. It's a 0.2% difference. Kill. Okay, back air is not going to be enough to kill, but oh, and off the stage. We had seen him go for that earlier, and finally it comes to work, but gets him nothing off it. No extra credit this time. We are into the last stock in a game five situation here, deciding who actually moves on into winner's finals. Oh, oh my. 7% difference here. Okay, Karan able to get a little bit more of that damage in. Needs to find something soon because they do not want uh, to get one of those big comebacks again. He's got him here trapped at the ledge. But who's trapped? It's going back and <gasps> forth. Finally gets it. It's actually going to kill. Wow. That was a solid way to end it from Karan. And they are going to be moving into finals. That was a fantastic set entirely from both of those players. Absolutely. Oh, and honestly, I'm really excited to see uh, what Karan is going to do in Winner's Finals. We have no idea who he's going to be facing when the time comes. But honestly, tonight he's been playing absolutely fantastically. So we'll see how it goes. Granted, also, Uz, always a good player. And that match was so close. And I can definitely see him making a, uh, a real loser's run. We might see him again. I will definitely be seeing him again later tonight.